Welcome to the section using Flink Cluster UI and data onboarding. Using Cluster UIs. In this video, we are going to look at launching the UI, navigating the cluster's UI, and looking at a running job status in the UI. Launching the UI. Before we launch the UI, we need to start the local cluster. As before, we are going to start the local shell. Now we have a Flink shell ready to run any job. At the same time, it already started a UI console or portal for us. So open the browser and type in localhost 8081 as shown. As seen, the UI opens up on localhost 8081. The cluster UI has several sections, the overview, running jobs, completed jobs, task managers, job manager, and button which shows submit new job. In order to monitor a job which has been submitted either using the shell or using a compiled jar, we can look at the jobs that are running as well as completed in the cluster UI. If you see, there is an overview which shows you the version of Flink, which is 1.8.0. It shows you that it only has one task manager because we are running everything on the local system. It has one task slot because we only have one specific task manager with one slot on this machine. This is all local cluster. This will be different if you go against a production cluster. It also shows you that there is one available task slot because we're not really running anything at this point. If you see, there is a zero running job, zero finished, zero canceled, and zero failed. There is nothing really running at this time. The running job shows empty. The completed jobs is also empty. The task manager shows you the one task manager that is running right now on our local machine. The job manager is ready to go. It's not really doing anything. You can see the configuration, which shows you some basic parameters. We're going to look at running a simple task or job using the Scala shell and see what we can see in the UI as a result of that. Here we are going to execute a simple job. This shows you that we are simply trying to read a text file online retail.csv. Execute this. At this time, we have a data set ready to go. Let's switch back to the UI. This is expected. As we know, Flink doesn't really execute anything till you actually create the task and then ask for the job manager to submit such a task. So in other words, this is all lazy evaluation. So nothing really happens till it needs to do something. So if you type the command data set dot count and run it, it will simply count the number of records in the data set. But let's look at what we can see in the UI at this time. There's one job which shows as completed. Let's click on it. It shows that there is a very simple thing that happened here. Uh, it just counted the number of records. And if you see the plan, it shows you a couple of steps here. So we are clicking around. We're looking at what is this step? What happened here really is the data source. And that's the data sync. So it shows you a very simple job. We're going to look at this periodically as we run more and more complex steps. For now, this is what, that we can look at all the jobs which are running right here. That's the timeline. That's the exceptions. If you have any failures, you'll see it there. 